why would god let me meet this person if he knows that i would like him excuse me like <laughs> that's so confusing my name is Faustina. i'm a medical doctor and i'm a youtuber based in abuja nigeria i film about lifestyle beauty medicine i film about my faith so i came up with this grand idea to film with Ezine zara um she is the host of easy like sunday morning pod and she filmed this video about red flags women shooting their shots and other love stories saying that this is the month of love and um, valentine was just a few weeks ago so this video is still very timely she filmed the reaction to her own pod so i thought to film my reaction to her reaction <laughs> so i think that's going to be very interesting so i'm just going to chip in my two cents and i think you're going to really enjoy this video and if you do please remember to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment and share so without further ado do let's dive into the video so this person says hey isn't it? i have a crush on this guy and it's a fairly normal crush i actually like to call it an admiration we have been talking for a while now about two months but we unexpectedly stopped talking a week ago however he has been on my mind and i just realized how much i like him he seems to be everything I want in a guy. He's tall, handsome, living a Christ-centered life, hardworking and friendly. There are two things at play right now though. I'm supposed to be focusing on God this year and not dating anyone. But at the same time, I'm just wondering why God will allow me to meet this guy and foster this friendship with him when he knows I would eventually fall for him. I have a problem with people like doing things and then somehow blaming God for it. That makes me so uncomfortable. Saying why would God let me meet this person if he knows that I would like him? Excuse me. Like <laughs> that's so so confusing is God supposed to field off people because you might find them attractive so I think there is a place for taking responsibility for your own emotions like just being like oh I let my own guard down and I started to like this person like if I start to like someone like why am I blaming God for that and saying that oh it's God's fault because he let me meet them it's not God's fault that you ended up liking someone I don't think that God is responsible for who you like or who you do not like anyway back to the video the thing is i am not ready to date this guy at all but i want to shoot my shot and just let him know i'm interested in him then maybe we can start talking seriously next year but i also do not want to be forward and make the first move in case he tells me he doesn't like me back why did he stop texting all of a sudden i don't even know how to shoot my shots and i guess the man is supposed to be the one making the first move and doing the chasing i'm just really confused and i need advice for real Hmm. Short shooting for a man is different from short shooting when it comes to a woman. Exactly. Short shooting for a man is totally different from short shooting for a woman. Right. And with women, I always say that you need wisdom hmm. to go about it. Many men are still yeah. averse to the um, concept of women shooting their shots. Hmm. I've had conversations with men where they're like, ah, it's not a big deal. You know, this particular person, I've had this conversation with this person before and it was like, oh, no, it's not a big deal, you know, it's bold, it's very, you know, it's a bold move and he really admires it. When it eventually happened to him, he came back to me and was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So that's why I said yeah, you have wisdom. <laughs> For example, I always talk about how I shot my shot with my husband. Mm -hmm. And I didn't to go and tell him, oh, hey, um, Tolu, oh, I like you. This is that. That might, be, that might have been too forward. Mm -hmm. I just, um, I think he posted something on his story and then I responded to it. You know, of course, with wisdom. I mean, why is a man? I can't mess it. <laughs> So I responded to it, and he was like, oh, "You are such, you are, you are so wise. You are such a smart woman. You know, I, I would like us to be friends." And then he collected my number, and that was how we started. So, um, you don't go, you don't go in somebody's feed, you don't go to somebody's DM, or just walk up to someone and say, "Oh, I like you." So, if you want to watch the full version of this video, I'm going to drop the link in the description box. I've listened to the full thing on easy by Sunday Morning Pod on Apple. I think it's available on every music platform. Um, so I'll just leave it down. <laughs> when I was having this conversation with my husband, he was like, under no circumstances should a woman shoot her shots, right? So uh -huh. he, yeah, yeah. he was very so he said that he, <laughs> did, he said that he believes that shot shooting is a woman like outrightly asking a man out, which is why I was like, Okay, I think we should like talk about what does it really mean. So is there a difference between shot shooting and like just trying to, you know, position your yourself because he was saying that he thinks 
it's more wise to sort of just give like a green light to the guy like oh i'm ready and you can come as opposed to like taking that lead you know you know and being like because he, he was like men are the ones that are supposed to go and find a wife it's not supposed to be a woman going to find a husband so to speak so he, he, he has a fair point because he has a fair point and one thing like i said earlier one thing i always lean towards i always lean towards the side of a woman doing it wisdom right, right? position yourself but positioning yourself is also a type of short shooting Mm. like he's still under his umbrella what do you think about that yeah so i agree so when it comes to a woman shooting her shot there's absolutely nothing wrong with it in my own opinion just that you need to do it with wisdom like you don't you, you can't do it like every guy that just you know i saw it from afar girl some time ago there was some news going around about a particular person i think this is an um, athlete a very popular olympian athlete she's married her husband went on a podcast and was talking about how oh he didn't even know who she was that she matched with him on like a dating app yeah. and then she slid in his dm and then drove 45 minutes to see him <laughs> <laughs> And the whole internet was aflame like i use um youtube more than any other app so i i saw it on youtube like people were talking about it, and we're so angry it was so offensive to women and so i was thinking to myself like what do you mean you slid into his dms then drove 45 minutes to see him of course the guy is now feeling like he's the prize you know so there was this whole conversation online like okay who is actually the like prize is it <laughs> is it men that are the prize or women that are the prize see i don't know anything about all this prize convo or you know anything but what i know is that there is a reason why the man was speaking in that way right he felt like he didn't need to do anything to get this girl and he doesn't really need to do anything to keep her it was a very very sad story because at the end of the day like as a woman you want to feel chosen you want to be pursued you want to be courted you want to just have that how will i say that feeling of desirability so when that is sort of taken away because you made the first outright move by saying hey i like you and i want to date you uh, it can it can just be an awkward place to be hold up hold up this whole story just took us from zero to hundred real quick while i agree that a woman should be able to shoot her shots if she wanted to this this is just such an extreme case and i think that is totally unacceptable and between the man and the woman if anybody will be the prize i think it's the woman because it's just simple he who finds a wife finds a good thing it's not she who finds a husband ah no she seems like i mean she's she's married to the guy she was like everybody should back off people that are angry are still single you know <laughs> you know she really felt like what she did or what she has done is working for her so yeah anyway back to my conversation really punching me is not so bad maybe i just needs to cultivate you know his character so <laughs> no <laughs> what are some red flags like once you see that you're just like absolutely not like absolutely not you mentioned one already when someone is physically abusive mm. uh um a serial cheat mm. why why is it serial cheat is because when when someone cheats on you once you can okay this is a very dicey topic yeah because it's very um every situation is unique yeah right so i don't like to generalize this issue you might still end up going your separate ways but instead of going your separate ways first seek professional help yeah. talk to a counselor talk to a therapist or something or oh, wait to think makes it. men believe that men need to be 100 percent taking care Respect. of it. yeah i think it's just society you know i, I think, think so. i think sometimes it may also be if your father did it for you exactly your father did it for you or father did it for your mom see yeah. i've seen people i don't know, i think it's just society more of society because i've i i've seen people where you can tell that their their um their mother too was it was my financial body and she was responsible financially but just that society society has molded our mentality even more than we know more than we actually realize a, a lot of people are not aware